What is up homies, my name is Felix and I'm here back again with another video for you all today. And this video is gonna be quite atrocious to be frank with you, to be quite Franklin with you. Basically what we're gonna be doing today is making a beat out of the worst possible VST that I can find. So for this little challenge, if you will, I have two criteria for the plugin. It has to sound horrible, and it also has to look horrible because most VSTs that most people use normally, they, you know, sound really good and they also look very sleek and professional, but that is not what we want here today. We want something that just looks completely atrocious. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing here today. So make sure you guys check out my Instagram and my SoundCloud down in the description below if you guys wish to, along with the playlist of songs I've produced, my Beatstorm, my Discord, all that stuff down in the description if you wanna go check it out, you may. And now we can get into this video. So our first order of business today has to be finding the actual plugin. So I'm just gonna look up worst VST plugins and we'll see what we can find. So after a little bit of research, I found absolutely nothing. What I'm looking for is a free VST, obviously, that's really terrible. And most people are just talking about the worst VSTs that they've paid for, you know, VSTs that they just don't like or something. So that just means that we're probably gonna have to go to where this thing's natural habitat is, which is VST for free. Actually, let's get a moment of silence because VST for free is no longer with us. It's now called plugins for free. So that is gonna be what we're finding our VST on today. So basically what we're looking for is something that's around like one star. If we can get a one star, that's gonna be perfect. But I feel like we might not get too many one stars. So I guess I'm just gonna keep clicking this random button until we get something better or worse. All right, so I found one with 1.8 stars out of five. It's called A Key, and it's a distortion synth, which sounds pretty good to me, but it's not like that ugly, you know? It's just, it's a little bit tacky, but it's not like unbearable to look at, which is kind of what we're going for. Now this one's a little bit higher on the rankings, but it looks incredibly ugly. So I'm definitely gonna download this one. Okay, this one has two stars and the interface thing just looks awful. It's just, look at it, it's just awful. Okay, this one looks so bad, but it actually has 4.2 stars. So I'm a little confused. Um, because maybe it does sound good. Hmm. Oh my god. What the heck is this? This one also looks pretty bad It's called gargoyle 2. So we're just gonna download this one as well I don't even know what to say about this one This is probably the worst looking plugin that I've seen so far. So this is definitely going on the list All right, so basically now that I've downloaded all the plugins that I want to take a look at I have to go into FL studio and basically pollute the waters of all my other plugins by adding all of these garbage plugins into here all right, so after taking way longer than it should have to install all of these plugins, I'm basically just gonna test them all out and see which one is the worst of the worst. This is really bad. Okay, so I've tested out each one of them a little bit, and I know for sure that I'm gonna get rid of this one, because this one, I could probably make some okay sounding sounds out of it. Then this gargoyle one, I'm actually gonna have to get rid of too, because some of these presets sound like pretty decent actually. They do all sound really weird and they're all very strange effects kind of sounds, but however, they're not really bad per se, so I'm gonna have to get rid of this one too. This one is pretty bad, but I feel like it's not the worst of these, so I'm probably just gonna get rid of this one. And then I think I'm also gonna get rid of this one, uh, which is incredibly ugly. But I think like that right there could be used as a bell sound or something, so it's not garbage enough, so we're gonna delete that. So basically now we're just left with the V coder, which literally has three presets. And then we have the vowel synth plugin, which sounds awful. That is so bad. I just, that's just, I think I'm gonna go with vowel synth because that one just sounds so bad. It's literally just horrendous. So goodbye to Vcoder. And now we're gonna use this to make a beat uh, somehow. All right, so the game plan for this is that we literally just have to drench it in reverb and delay and all sorts of different effects to get it to sound like anything actually musical because right now this is just, it's not gonna, it's. Okay, so with another Enough manipulating and stuff, I basically got it to sound like this. And I think we're just gonna record that right there into Edison and then maybe make it so we can make some chords out of it or something, I have absolutely no idea. All right, so surprisingly, we were able to make something slightly musical out of this. So what I'm gonna try to do now is kind of expand this chord progression a little bit more, maybe add like a top melody or something, and then we're gonna do the, you know, drenching it in effects and everything like that. All right, so we have this going on right now. It sounds like this. 
So that's kind of not half bad. I think I'm gonna continue going on with this and just make like a variation uh, for the next four bars. All right, so I just finished the variation on the second half. Now I'm gonna do Alt R and Alt S, which um, randomizes the velocities and then strums the chords. Now what I'm gonna do is use this VST to maybe make like some strings or like some sort of like harp or something. I have no idea. I'm not getting my hopes up or anything, but we're gonna at least try. All right, so we have something somewhat reminiscent of strings. Now I'm gonna maybe try to make like a lead or something and that'll probably be the last thing that I attempt to do with this plugin. All right, so I made a little bit of a lead pattern and now thankfully we can do this. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is render all of these out as their own audio clips so that we can manipulate them a little bit better, pitch them up, pitch them down, put effects on them and stuff. And then we'll be able to add our drums and things of that nature. So we're basically just gonna hit these little red buttons and then do Alt R and now just wait for it to finish. All right, so now comes the part where we actually transform this whole thing into something that sounds hopefully good by putting just a bunch of effects and stuff on it. All right, so that basically took an incredibly long amount of time, but I have this going on now. The only thing I'm gonna change about this is this right here. It's kind of hard to hear it, but this lead thingy, whatever you want to call this, sometimes sounds like it's going out of tune or it's playing weird notes because what I think happened is that I forgot to cut the notes so that like when one ends, the other one starts and you know, whatever, you guys get it. I'm just going to re-export it the right way and then I'll start working on the drums. Also, I almost forgot to do a little gloss over of all the effects I used. Basically, you better believe there's RC20 on everything here. And then with the main sound and the strings kind of sound, I added some object delay, which is a pretty cool delay plugin that you can get some really unique sounds out of. And then I just added some reverb and some EQ. And then for the strings, I put a stereo enhancer on it so it's quite wider. And then for the little lead, I have Filter Freak. And then I have this ambiance, ambience plugin. That just makes it very ambient, I guess, which is why the plugin's called that. So now that the incredibly difficult and super stressful part of the video is out of the way, we can work on the drums. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice when I play this bad boy is that the 808 and the melody sound absolutely awful together. So basically what I got to do is go in and do a bunch of like EQing out of like disgusting frequencies and stuff to get it to actually sound somewhat decent. So that's what I'm going to do now before I continue on with the drums at all. But what we have right now for the drums is sounding like this. And those two bars right there is basically all that I've worked on so far. So yeah, I'm going to fix that problem and then we'll work on the drums. All right, so I got it at a point where it's a little bit more bearable to listen to now. It's not as muddy, but once I put a kick in there, I think what I'm gonna do is just side chain it so that it cuts off the melody frequencies when the kick hits. All right, so what feels like after a million years, I finally have the drum pattern completed and it sounds like this. So now what I'm gonna do is pretty much just lay out the beat and then we'll be done here. So when I lay out my beats, I just take in and out certain instruments and drums at certain points just to you know keep the beat all fresh throughout the whole thing. So yeah, basically that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so as you can see here, I've pretty much laid out the beat. There might be some small, you know, minor adjustments that I'll do later on. But for now, this is pretty much gonna do it because for whatever reason, this was like the most stress-inducing video that I've ever made because everything just took so much time to get it to actually sound good. Whereas if I made this beat with regular plugins or something, it probably would've taken me like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, but this just took an immense amount of time. So yeah, that's pretty much gonna do it for me in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. This was definitely quite a challenge to do and, you know, actually get the beat to sound good. So yeah. Let me know if you guys want me to do any more like weird creative stuff like this. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram, SoundCloud down in the description below along with the playlist of songs I've produced, my Beatstorm, my Discord, all that stuff. Go check it out if you guys want to. And I will see you guys in the next one.
thought that I was dreaming She was in these streets and she was fiending Making sure that I was never leaving